All right, so I got done with the boat rental place. It was very expensive to catch a tiny little snook and exhaust myself struggling with the trolling motor and the position of the boat and the, everything else. It's difficult to do by yourself um, in those conditions too. Not too thrilled about that. Uh, I feel like I could have spent the $300 in a much better way. Um, not to mention all the bait and everything it was another 50 bucks. So very expensive day of catching one tiny little snook. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get something to eat, get some supplies, and I think I may take a little nap because I only slept maybe four hours last night. So take a nap and then hit the night bite at that bridge again on Boca Grande uh, or the pier because that was pretty good for snook. But I may have to buy a snook light because um, that made all the difference obviously last night. So all right, that's what I'm going to do. I found what I'm having for breakfast tomorrow. I'm in Walmart. I'm gonna get some lanterns if you can see them with the snook bite since they don't have snook lights here. So I need some something to hang them by. Give it a shot. So I just took a little like a 30 minute power nap because I didn't get about four hours of sleep last night. Um, it's about 6.30. I'm going to head over to the Boca Grande Fishing Pier again. In a quarter mile, turn left onto Tamiami Trail. Took a, like a 30 minute power nap. And I'm going to head over to uh, Boca Grande Fishing Pier again. Make a U turn at Shut Street. up, Siri! So I just took a 30 minute power nap. Um, and because I wanted to hit this pier before the sun sets so I can kind of get my stuff together plus the bait shop closes at 8 so I'm gonna head over to Boca Grande Pier again and try to catch some snook uh, I got my own little snook lights ready to be rigged up in case there's no one there which there's a, probably a chance that no one will be there with uh, snook lights so I got my own little thing I'm gonna try out see if I can't uh, catch some snook I caught them on shrimp last night I got a lot of bites so I'm confident I can as long as this bait shop has some shrimp, they were kind of low yesterday. So I'm going to go do that now, and hopefully I'll get there in time to get out there before it gets too dark. And then of course, wait till dark to catch the snook. I try to be a heavily principled person in every way. I try to be. And one of the principles was, because Chloe couldn't come this trip, I didn't want to cancel completely because it would have cost me about a thousand dollars and I just don't have that to throw away. So out of principle, I had to come and I had to fish. I was dying for a vacation, it was a long summer, I haven't fished since May, I've just been dying to, to fish and I was really looking forward to it. I dream about fishing almost every night so I needed to sort of do this. Um, but the problem is, is it really is not fun fishing alone like this. Not when I come clear across the, across the country to fish. It's just not as fun enduring what I have to endure as I pack in all the fishing into this into this time. And it's it's it is rough, on, at least on my body and my wallet. So it's just more fun when you kind of are going on these adventures with someone, whether it's my dad or with Chloe. So. That's where I'm at. It's only the second day of fishing. I'm going to head over to Sandoval tomorrow and I think it'll be a little bit different over there because I'm very familiar with all the good fishing spots and I'm anxious to, to dive into them and see if they're as good as they were last October. So maybe I'll be more excited once I get to Sandoval but, and also when I get a good night's sleep. Since I don't check in tomorrow until 3, I'm, when I'm done fishing tonight, I'm going to just be out and fish for, or sleep, fish. I'm gonna sleep for a long time. So maybe I'll feel better once I've got an actual good night's rest, which I haven't gotten in a few days. So here I am, I'm gonna give it another shot. Try to catch some more snook at night. Try to record them on my GoPro. All right.
got done with the uh, Boca Grande Pier again. And uh, it was good. I made my own little snook lights. They weren't too strong, but they attracted the snook. And I caught about six or seven nice size ones. And I lost a big one. Uh, this time it didn't break me off. It did go into the dock and I was trying to wrench him out of there. But this time uh, it just got off the hook. So I'm pretty happy. That was fun. I kind of slowed down and the current was getting strong the last uh, hour or so. So I decided to take off. I'm going to try this. Look at this other spot that this guy told me about by these docks. Uh, the guy at the um, gas station. So I'm going to check it out. Um, and yeah, see what it looks like. And if not, I'm just going to head back because it's already late and I'd like to get a good night's sleep for once. So, and I'm, there's mosquitoes everywhere. So, this is the end of day two of my solo fishing adventure. Uh, I'm in uh, Port Charlotte. Spent most of the day on Charlotte Harbor. Not fun. Too windy. That boat was a hassle. Not fun at all. But, the night fishing was great. Uh, fished off the Boca Grande Pier again. Brought my own rigged snook lights. And, uh... I'll show you. We just I just hung two lanterns like this. Um, I need to get more powerful lanterns next time. You know, I need like 800 lumens at least. Maybe a thousand would probably be the best. Um, wasn't quite bright enough, but still attracted snook. I could see him down there, and I caught about six or seven of them and hooked a really big one. And uh, this time it didn't cut me off. It actually just through the hook, which is surprising. So I still have yet to catch my giant snook, uh, but I caught a ton of them the last two nights. So uh, tomorrow I head to Sanibel um, tomorrow morning. So we'll see how the fishing is there. Last October, I caught my two giant redfish, 38 inches, 37 inches, a um, ton of snook. What else? I think that was it. Oh, big drum. My biggest. So we'll see how Sanibel is. I'm excited. Although, it would be more exciting if someone was with me. Chloe or my dad. It would be fun. Alright, well, it's been another long day. Four hours of sleep each day. 